lying on a stretcher. So I think my surgery time or procedure is at 12.30, it's 11.30. And you know, I couldn't eat, drink, nothing. Couldn't even chew a piece of gum. No water, no nothing. So I told her to turn the, <clears throat> I told her to turn the lights off because the light, since I'm lying on my back, is shining on my face. It's that hard light. So I'm just waiting to go in. And like I said before, sometimes when you have a job <clears throat> and you choose your insurance and you want to you know call yourself getting the best deal choosing the less expensive insurance is not always good <clears throat> because it was like my insurance didn't cover a lot of this this is expensive so that's more debt more debt and more debt I mean, ridiculously expensive. But I wanted to turn away and just leave. But that thought of what's going on with my heart would continue to haunt me. So I just dove in. It is what it is. You know, I've survived worse. I'll keep you posted. Well, I just made it home from the hospital Child, they had to roll me out in the wheelchair. They said that uh, can't do any heavy lifting, no more than 10 pounds. And I brought my whole backpack with me because I knew I was going to be there all day. So I got there at 9.30 and I didn't leave until 4 o'clock. Everything turned out well. There was no blockage. And, you know, I was just thinking because I had um, an angiogram done maybe 20 years ago so and they said that there was a little you know a little something there but not enough to be alarmed so i was figured like 20 years later it was gonna be worse because you know i've been eating good the mukbangs and all that stuff you know so you know my mind i'm like this is it i might need the open heart you know so it ran across my mind and then heart disease runs in my family so I was braced for whatever. I would not have been surprised by anything but <laughs> baby. Glory to God. Clean as a whistle. Heart's good. So at least it was expensive. Oh Lord. Took all, all of my coin. Baby. But it was like I I wanted to leave. But just to have that peace of mind, and, and I w always would have had that question in the back of my mind, what if, what if? It was too many unknowns, and I didn't want to continue to live life like that. So I just, I just did it. And so I can't lift anything heavy for a week. Um, if it starts bleeding, you have to apply pressure for 15 minutes. He said, don't pick it up to start looking at it because you got to start the time and then have to call 911 because it's the femoral artery is one of the major arteries in the body and they'll just bleed. No like strenuous exercise. I can't lift anything, can't drive for a couple of days. And outside of that, it, it looked good. I was in and out. I think I was the youngest looking one. Um, at the hospital so I'm just I just feel a certain peace over me now that I know and once you go through angiogram angioplasty that's invasive as it gets um, you know if something's off and if they had to you know unblock some things they would have done it then so I need to I need to get my treadmill I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it repaired because it's just too much so i'm gonna start looking for a new treadmill and the treadmill works it just doesn't incline and you don't that's like you don't want a treadmill that doesn't incline you need a little incline that's like your resistance or it's kind of useless kind of sort of so i'm going to because i took it apart honey trying to fix it so i'm going to put it back together and see if somebody wants it for like 50 dollars or something it just doesn't incline but it, it does work but I need um, my treadmill back in my life. I do miss. I do miss her.
on this treadmill. So I want to, you know, be a little more proactive with my health because I kind of feel like I have a second chance. So and this is what I have now. Yeah, look at my messy bathroom. So I have this. So they go through the, the groin area down here. And I got to leave that uh, for 24 hours. And then it's like some some special tape or whatever. So I have to leave that on for 24 hours. And then I got like every bandage <laughs> they have So there. Sydney, she dropped me off and then she went to school. Oh, I have to call the school tomorrow to get her late, um, her lateness excuse. So what's up, Ass Face? I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Well, the angiogram is over. Everything looked great. So, although it was a setback financially, the peace of mind that I have far outweighs it all. It outweighs the worry, it outweighs the cost, everything. Because I had an angiogram, that's when they go through the femoral artery in your groin area, and they put a wire it's, it's slightly invasive but um, a little more invasive than a stress test and so they said I probably had a false positive during my stress test I don't got time for false positives let's do the stress test over before diving into this expensive and invasive thing with my insurance that is not very good it's not the best and choosing the cheap insurance like i said is not always the best option i am proof of that sis the other thing is um the worry is no longer there like you know what if something's wrong? what if i have blockage what if you know my arteries blah 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 so everything looked good but i do need to start exercising again and get my life i don't know if i'll be able to do that with school because i don't know it just seems stressful and <laughs> it's just a little more stressful but i still wouldn't trade it for anything i still enjoy it see that's the thing i still enjoy it i'm not a very strict teacher um sometimes i'm a little too easy going so you know sometimes i look at another teacher who has a little more order who's a little more strict and i'm like hmm should I, should I be like that? I don't know. So I'm just, I'm more of a heart teacher. I'm not friends with them, but they all feel comfortable with me. They all like to be around me. Um, so I don't know. So, you know, I think about what I want to do for the next year. How can I be a better teacher? So I was always thinking, I, I feel like I could do better and be better <laughs> which brings me to my next subject i'm in trouble again <laughs> i'm about to get in trouble no i'm about to be admonished <laughs> by the principal um because i i do take my attendance but i guess i don't take um a certain attendance in the in a timely manner sometimes the students get in here and i'm just i'm just in it <laughs> and i just forget you know i take it but i just don't take it at a certain time, at a time time frame. So I'm trying to be more conscious of that. So now I'm being pulled into the principal's office to be admonished about that. And then the fire marshal, um, my room, I guess my room is on the radar. So they came in here for a second time, no, third time this year, talking about I have to take some of the stuff down off my walls. I have to take the paper, I have to take the brick off the walls. So I started taking that down. But I don't want to take the, the, the words down right now, so I just cut around it. And I'm about to take this down. So all the brick I have to take down. Because I bought paper. I thought the paper was fire retardant, and it isn't. So the paper is better than, better than, it's called better than paper. But what it is, that paper is plastic. And he explained, he, and the fire marshal was very, very very nice he was so he was like i hate to tell you this i see he was just so kind and so patient i kept saying but this but that but this and he never got upset he was just he was just really 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 nice and i did appreciate that and so you know that makes it easier to take it down and then it's like the end of the school year anyway we have like what 36 more days left of school something like that so i'm just like i'll just start taking my room down maybe come up with a new idea for 
the new year so I'll, I'll just start so I hate to see it go but it is the close of the year now if it was the middle of the year or more of the beginning of the year I probably would um, I have I do have other a brick paper but I'm, I'm not gonna do it and he said it um, I covered 50% of the wall anyway what I want to say is that this little case right here this little bureau thing right there that don't have nothing to do with me <laughs> it is what it is just gonna go for it oh and I have to take the wall down in the hallway because they said I had 50% of the wall covered so I'm taking that down but on the cement blocks out there I use a hot glue gun <laughs> I don't want my custodian lady to see it <laughs> pick the glue off the wall little by little so I put other things on top of her so every day and sometimes I don't mind picking it off so every day I'll pick off the glue it comes off very easily but <laughs> some pieces are tougher than others so with that said I thought I had something else to tell y'all let me just show you this little outfit I I get literally I get dressed in about five minutes I don't pick out my clothes the night before or anything like that I just get dressed so here we go Let me not do too much dancing. I'm still a little sore. And it's just a little tender in the in the groin area. But I feel I feel fine. But the relief that I feel up here, baby. Because many of you already know, and if you don't, I'm the last surviving member in my immediate family. And heart disease kind of runs in the family. So I was just always paranoid about my own little heart. So just wanna let y'all know. They said it looks good. Looks good there. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm super, super psyched about that. With that said, I'm going to check in with you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful, 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 wonderful day. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Bye, y'all.